Hey everyone, my name is Alex Tran, and I will be providing an overview and going over the significance of vaccines in public health. To begin, recall those days of when you were sick. You'd be resting in bed, conserving your energy, experiencing a high fever or cold, and eventually, you slowly got better within a week or so. That was your immune system at work. You see, our immune systems are designed to protect our bodies from potentially harmful germs. If your body detects something that cannot be recognized as itself, then it's immediately labeled as a foreign threat. Then, the white blood cells, phagocytes, and lymphocytes of the immune system will be activated to neutralize it. Once the threat is taken care of, the T cell and B cell lymphocytes will leave behind memory cells that allow the body to remain on high alert to detect the very same threat next time and immediately mount a defense. Vaccines operate under this very same principle, a major plus being that there's no actual threat to experience. Vaccines inject a weakened or dead part of a specific disease-causing germ. Usually, this would be the antigen, also known as the cell's name tags for the body to recognize other cells. It has to be enough to be recognized as a threat for the immune cells to neutralize it. And because the threat is low, they quickly disband after taking care of it, and the all-important memory cells will remain and have been created. Vaccines are beneficial in helping our body's immune systems prepare against specific illnesses in advance. It should be said that our bodies don't automatically adjust to vaccinations. The CDC states that any vaccine can cause side effects and there are risks to vaccinating, but most of which are very, very minor. For example, you might experience a sore arm, headaches, drowsiness, or a low-grade fever after getting vaccinated, all of which will go away within a few days. According to vaccines.gov, serious side effects from getting vaccinated are extremely rare. For example, if 1 million doses of a vaccine are given, only two people may have a severe allergic reaction to it. Nowadays, current public perception is hard to sway when it comes to actually receiving vaccinations on time. Hesitancy towards vaccinations, according to Claire Joseph from the Journal of the Medical Library Association, comes primarily from the fears parents have about vaccinating their children too often or the possible allergies their children will face after getting a shot. And while all of these concerns are valid, these attitudes may pose a greater risk to public health than we would initially think. In order for a vaccine to be effective within a country like the US, we must achieve what's called herd immunity. According to the CDC, there are currently almost 330 million people living in the US, and if one of these 33 circles represents 10 million people, that means herd immunity is only achieved when 70 to 90% of the population gets vaccinated, which is a tall order, but let me put it this way. The herd immunity is a way to slow and eventually stop the spread of infection from person to person. As summarized by the Nova documentary Vaccines Calling the Shots, there are two things that matter for whether or not one is going to get sick. One is, if you bump into someone who has the disease, are you protected against it or not? But the more important piece is that what is the chance you will bump into someone who has the disease in the first place? The more vaccinated people are within your concentric social circles, the less likely you'll ever bump into the disease-causing germ. To the merit of concerned parents, it is quite noble to know what's important and beneficial for your children's long and healthy lives. But we do have to realize that our choices impact other people's lives, whether we know it or not. There are people who cannot receive vaccinations due to severe allergic reactions to them, and they depend on the rest of the population to get vaccinated and achieve herd immunity. We all have the power to protect ourselves and the people we love, so let's use our time to eradicate these horrible germs until we've forgotten they were a menace to begin with. Thanks for watching.